Hello, this is Chris Menard. Microsoft has a free product called Microsoft Forms that does surveys, quizzes, and it does polls. Today in this video I'm going to cover Microsoft Forms and I have an agenda pulled up. How to get Microsoft Forms. Again, it's free. It also comes with your Office 365 account. How to use templates how to use a form from scratch, how can you send out the form, the different methods, and finally, how to view the results of your form. And as a bonus, I'll talk about Microsoft Forms if you have an Office 365 business account. So I'm on a Microsoft website that I'll put it down in the description. Notice it says create, share, and collaborate for free with Office. So you get Microsoft Word. You also get, there's Word, you get Excel for the web, PowerPoint for the web. It's free, it even says it on the website here. And I even signed up for the free account, so even though I'm an Office 365 user, I'm gonna cover this with my free account. And there is Microsoft Forms right there. So once you sign up for the account, let me swap over. I'm going to go to forms.office.com and I haven't even signed in yet so I'm going to hit sign in. I'm going to use that free account I created. Notice it's an outlook.com account. Put in the password I made. And I'm now in my free Microsoft online account and I forms pulled up by default. So I want to create a survey, but sitting here is a customer feedback survey, course evaluation, event feedback. It says more templates. Let's see what else is available for free. So instead of me having to sit here and prepare all of it, there's event registration. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's October 20th today. Let's say I've got a holiday party coming up. So I'm going to pick this holiday party invitation. It'll start popping up and helping you walk through, but I'm going to hit got it, got it, because I'm going to show you this anyway. Um, I can change the name. I could put in the name of the holiday party. The questions are already in here. It's asking for your name. That's question number one. I'm going to scroll down. Who are you inviting? The number of guests. I could change that question. Any food allergies is question number three. Question four, I guess you're asking people to bring a dish. And question five, uh, you come into an after party and your email address. So let me show you how this works. I don't care, we're not even having an after party, so I'm going to click this question, and I'm going to delete it, because I don't need it. Their email address, I do want to collect. I'm making this up again. I am, I am buying everything for the party. I don't need you to bring anything, so I don't even need that question. The number of guests, that sounds good. I do need to know about food allergies, so that sounds good. So basically... I'm done with this survey. So I created my account. I signed into forms. I pulled up a template. It's already here. I changed the name. I deleted a couple questions. So to send this out, I would come over here and hit send. Anyone with this link can respond. I'm going to copy it. When I hit copy, notice I didn't even select anything. I just literally hit copy. That works. I could also email this out. I could embed it on a web page. Plus, I could do a QR code, which works with your phones. But I'm going to just hit copy. Now, I'm going to swap browsers to show you how this looks. But before I do, I want to show you something really cool. If I hit preview, this is how the invitation looks if you're on a computer. 
but if you're on a mobile phone, and I've done this plenty of times, it works on an Android and it works on an iPhone. This is how this will appear. So it doesn't matter, it works regardless. I'm gonna hit back. So I've already copied the invitation. I'm gonna swap browsers. I'm gonna paste that in there. Let me pull this into my screen. So now this is actually somebody taking the survey. And before I do this, I want to point out one little item. I have responses next to questions. There's questions and then to the left is responses and I don't have any because I just sent it out. Now I am a guest that's going to attend. I'm making up names. I'm going to bring two people. No to that question. Notice I don't even have to answer it. What's your email? Making that up, hit submit. The minute I hit submit, responses has the number one next to it. Susan Davis. I do have her email. She put her email in here. Uh, food allergies was no. The cool thing about this is that was just one person. If it was only one person coming, I would just call Susan or email her. I'm sending this out to 50 people. It'll keep track of it in Microsoft Excel online. I'm not going to do this yet. I'm coming back to this. So that is to show you where we're at. I set up my account for free and I just use a template. So now let's go from scratch. So I'm going to come back here to forms and it saves your forms down below here. I called that Christmas 2019 holiday party. I got one response. Now I just want to make one from scratch. So instead of using the templates, new form, I need to do a survey for a class I taught. That is the name of the survey. It is not any questions. Now it's time to add questions. So add new. Uh, multiple choice is true, false. Text, that would be type in your name. Rating, how do you want to view this? So I'm going to do a choice question first. I'm making a typo. I didn't mean to do that. Did you enjoy the training class? Let's fix it real quick. Microsoft Forms has given me yes, no, or maybe. I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to hit no. I don't want maybe. I want this question to be required, so I'm going to select required. I'm going to do this again. In the next question, I'm going to select multiple answers. Add new. Choice. Question number two. It's got the number two about it. What was your favorite topic? And let's say that I covered using Word, headers, and footers. I'm going to keep this short. I also did Excel sorting in the class. I also showed you how to do Excel filters. Browse the web. That's enough for now. I could continue with that list, but instead of it being just true, false, or yes, no, I want to make it multiple answers. Watch it change over here. Watch this. Now they're check boxes. If you want to preview it again as a review, here's preview. This is exactly what it will look like. It's telling you the required questions right here. Question one's required. Question two is not required. There it is on the computer again. Here it is on the mobile device. But I'm going to hit back over here to the left. So I'm making a survey from scratch. And I'm going to do one more question. Watch this. Add new because I've done choice twice. This rating is actually really cool. I use this a lot. Rating. Overall, did you like this course? By default, it's five stars, but I can now make it any number of stars I want. I want 10. 
It's a star, but I can also do a number. I will tell you this. Stars, I think pe most people know, because a lot of online sites use stars. If you go with a number, here's my suggestion, and I'm going to make this a required question. I'm going to come over here, more settings, and I'm going to add a label because I want people to be really clear that number one is not the highest. I can type whatever I want in these boxes here. Lowest score is 1, highest score is 10. Let's go see how that looks with the preview up in the top right. Lowest score, highest score, so people know not to put a 1 in that they really love the course. Back, there is send again before I do a send. If I wanted to change the theme, I could. I can change it to whatever theme I want. There is send, copy, send it out. Okay, let's see where we're at. We just did one from scratch. I've already covered how to send out the form. You hit send. Now, how to review the results. One last time, this one has no results, so let me go send it real quick. One more time, copy, swap browsers. I just opened this in my email. I clicked on the link. It opens up. Did you enjoy this training class? I'm not going to answer it since it's required, so let's see what happens. But I did multiple answers for that, and you can see I can do multiple answers. I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to hit submit, and I get a message. This question is required. I'm going to hit yes. Submit, swap back over. I'm now the person that created it. There's my one reply. Here is open in Excel. Downloaded it. You can also open it in Excel online. I happen to have Excel on my desktop, so it actually opened it right here. There was the start time, completion time, anonymous. And there are the questions running across right there. I could also share the response, create a summary link. I could email this out to show people what the overall 50 people voted. I can send out all 50 votes. I can copy that. And I can also print a summary right here. One last item. If your company is an Office 365 company and you have Microsoft Forms, so you are using Forms, but you're a business person, they have features that are really cool. When I send out the form, I can only send it out to people that are in my organization. So let me show you how that looks real quick. All right, I pulled that up. Here is a sample of Microsoft Office if you're an Office 365 business client. It says, who can fill out this form? So you don't get this with the free account, and you don't get this with Office 365 Home because it's for business people. Only people in my organization can respond. It will automatically record their name, and one response per person is an option. I don't want people voting twice. And then you can pick whether you're accepting responses, accepting responses, and you can get notifications if you want to send them to them. So you have a few more extra features when you're doing it with a business account. Thank you. If you have any questions about Microsoft Forms, I'm going to follow it up with a second video because I can do branching. This would be if you pick one item, you jump to one set of questions. If you pick item two, you go to a different set of questions. I'm going to cover branching. And also, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, I'm still in my free account right here. Under settings, I can pick a start date and an end date for when this form is valid. I can shuffle the questions. On a survey, you would probably wouldn't do that, but you might do that on a quiz if you're offering a quiz up. And I can customize the thank you message after they take the survey. Anyway, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hope you have a great Sunday. Thank you.